In Psalm 22, one through five, David writes, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far away from saving me, so far from my cries of anguish? My God, I cry out by day, but you do not answer by night, but I find no rest. And upon first reading this or hearing this, you may think, this is a man who's lost hope, or this is me, and maybe this is you today. Maybe you feel hopeless. Maybe your cry to the Lord today is, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And this isn't the only time this urgent prayer has been cried out to God. Does it sound familiar? My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? This is the same prayer Christ cried out in Matthew 27, 46. Who was copying who? And his last words right before he gave up his spirit. Into your hands I commit my spirit. But what's important here is that it is not the end of either of these prayers. They're not hopeless, doubtful prayers, but urgent prayers, asking, begging the Lord to come to their aid because they believe with their whole heart that God will provide a way. Jesus cried out and then surrendered to the will of God because he knew that God's plan of resurrection would be fulfilled. David's prayer ends with acknowledging God as the enthroned Holy One, the one Israel praises, the one our ancestors put their trust in to be saved. And God did save them, just like he has saved you and me. In your moment of despair and when it seems hopeless, and I have them weekly, God promises to remember to be with you in all things. You see, God doesn't promise a life that's free of trials, troubles, illness or loss, disappointments, and despair. But, and this is a big but, he promises to see you through it all of those things, to never leave you, but empower with the Holy Spirit. My prayer today is that you allow God's power to silence the doubt in your life, that you let God's promise speak new hope into your life, wherever you may need it and whatever you are going through. Cry out urgently on the name of our Father, just as David did, just as Christ did, and he will help see you through all things. And into his hands, commit your spirit. Amen. Amen.